In today's video, boys, I'm going to show you everything you need to unlock in the first seat. There are players that are maxed level that don't have all these items. So to avoid being a noob, make sure you watch today's video. We're going to try something different with today's giveaway since we're still doing giveaways all the way until the update. Today, we're going to go with if we get a high enough watch time, a good watch time, for everybody collectively, then I will give a permanent devil fruit to one lucky winner in the comments section down below. We're doing a little watch time test. So in order to guarantee that we get a giveaway, just make sure you watch the entire video. I think if more than half of you watch the whole thing, that it should work out. Just a little test. So we're going to do these unlocks in order. So if you're a brand new player, you could literally follow along with this video and unlock everything that you need. So you're totally ready for the next update and you're definitely not a noob. Let's start off with the sword mains. If you're going to be a sword main, make sure you buy a sword straight away. So your katana and your cutlass, they're only a thousand belly. You'll start off with a couple of hundred, but there are chests here on the island, these silver ones that will give you a couple of hundred belly at a time. And you should be able to pretty easily, if you know where the chests are, there's one. You should be able to get the thousand pretty fast and start using your katana or your cutlass to grind the NPCs. While it's not the best sword in the game, it's your first sword and that's what matters. After that, your second must have item is right here at the weapon dealer in Middletown. All you want to do is buy the slingshot for 5,000 belly. If you're short on money after the grinding, there is a golden chest right here that'll probably give you a thousand. That's pretty big. And there are a couple of silver chests that you can find around this island. Let me show you what the slingshot is good for. The next place you'd be traveling to is the jungle. So we'll use the slingshot as an example. You'll be a lot slower than me because you're a brand new player. So you can use the slingshot to very easily gather NPCs that you can then fight. If you've got something like the sword, you would gather all of them up and then use your quiet rush and hit multiple NPCs. The slingshot's underrated. Everybody has to have it. And if, if you're a, a big boy, you can eventually upgrade to the refined slingshot, although it's not necessary. Our next unlock is a less obvious one. The third island that you'll end up at is over here at the pirate island. This place got good chests. 2,300 for that diamond chest and then multiple gold chests in the area. From here, you can save up 50,000 belly pretty easily. And then you're going to want to head over here to Marine Ford. I'm standing on the middle tower here, and this is a big one that people miss. From here, looking back out towards the rest of the game, you're going to want to go to this tower on your left. If you jump in here, you'll find yourself a ladder, or you could have a portal fruit that messes up your entire life. Go down the ladder, talk to this guy, and he's going to sell you the black cape for 50,000 belly. The black cape, it's pretty ordinary, pretty basic looking, but it gives you 5% damage in everything, along with, I think, 100 energy and 100 HP. But that means 5% more melee, more fruit, more gun, more sword. It is a universal upgrade. After that, you're going to find yourself at the Snow Village. This is one that nobody misses, but if I didn't put it in the video, people would get angry. You're going to go underground to here and you're going to talk to the ability teacher. You do not need to buy flash step straight away. That's 100,000 belly that you should keep for yourself. What you're going to do is you're going to buy air jump for 10,000 and then you're going to buy aura for 25,000 and keep the rest of your money for yourself. Because your next big unlock is going to be once you have 150,000 belly, you're going to come back to the pirate village and you're going to go in this little bit here and you're going to buy yourself dark step. You got to have it because death step is good and you're going to want to get this, level it up its mastery so that in the second C you could upgrade it. I'm telling you right now, a lot of people think this is uh, overrated, but I believe that if you don't have every fighting style unlocked, then you're just not good at the game. From there, you're going to end up at Marine Fortress. There isn't much else that you're going to want to buy here. If you do want that refined slingshot for some strange reason, you can get it from this dude, but it's kind of a waste of 30,000 belly. The boss here also drops his coat, but again, it's really not useful. The black cape is just significantly better. 
And now we have sort of a defining moment. This is where your path splits. After you've completed a marine ford and maybe you've gotten the white coat, maybe you haven't, you can come back here, talk to the ability teacher and finally get yourself flash step which is like, it's useful, but it's not necessary. Now we make an important choice. If you're a sword main, your life is about to get so much better. First, you're gonna need 150,000 belly and at least 300 sword stat. You're gonna wanna go to the jungle, first of all, and we're gonna start this classic saber puzzle that I think almost every player has done before. We're basically, we're gonna press all of these buttons, which I can't do, right, because I've done it, so... Button number one, and then over this way. Button number two is right here, near these little ruins. Button number three is right here by the Blocks Fruits dealer. Actually, some first sea luck for your boy? I didn't think so. And then after those three, you're gonna wanna come over here to this island where the gorillas are. There's button number four right here on this tree. And then at the back here, button number five is right here. There's the dock at the back of jungle. And then you need to head back to the quest NPC. All right, all those buttons have opened a super special little door down here. You can go down into here and you can get yourself the torch, which obviously I can't do anymore. Get the torch and then head to the desert island. Once you're on the desert, you're actually going to do two things. One, you're going to come over here to the pyramid. See this silver chest right here by the pyramid? Yeah, you're going to go down into this little tunnel. Follow the pathway around until you reach the end and then jump up. Here is Hassan. This guy requires you to have the following. 300 sword stats, flash step, air jump, aura, and 150,000 belly. And what he's going to sell you is the swordsman hat. This is your first big upgrade if you're a sword main. That's going to give you 10% more sword damage. And since you're already on the desert, go to this half-sunk building right here. Head in this way. Head on your ground. Burn this with the torch. There'll be a curtain here. And then pick up this glass. Or the chalice. Head on over to the snow island once again. And then head underground in the cave here. Hold your chalice and pick up the dripping water right here. It'll fill up your chalice. And then just go upstairs into this house give the chalice to the sick man and he'll tell you to go find his son back to pirate village boys and you'll be able to talk to the rich man who's gonna also need your help because nobody in this game can handle anything on their own head out the back of the pirate island and then go over to this island right here and defeat this bandit npc and then head back to the rich guy and talk to him talk to this guy one more time he's gonna give you a relic and after speed running this quest you can head back to the the jungle once you're in the jungle come here to where the fruit catcher guy is down these stairs right here there's gonna be this wall put the relic in the wall and then shanks will be right here or red hair you can defeat him and get yourself the saber this is one of the best grinding swords in the game although it isn't quite the best just yet the version of the saber you have is v1 it's not bad though. With your new hat and your saber, this is as good as swords are gonna get in the first seat. Since we're here, let's talk about if you're not a sword main and you're actually just a fruit melee main like most people are. You're well over level 200. You've probably been rolling devil fruit already. It's very important that you play the game enough and collect enough belly that you can roll devil fruit every two hours until you get a good fruit. Leaving the first C with a good devil fruit or like actually, yeah, just a good devil fruit. Even if you're a sword main, you're going to need a good devil fruit. Mostly for the low gear effect, here are all of the acceptable devil fruits that you can use in the first C. The smoke is the bare minimum for its low gear. If you're a sword main, you could use smoke. Flame works. If you're a fruit main, it's very good for grinding. Ice is even better for grinding, also works. Sand, you could maybe get away with. It does work if you're a sword main. Dark is the same, works for a sword main. It's okay as a grinding fruit. Light is the best low gear grinding fruit that you're going to get, or elemental. You can use light throughout the whole of the first C, and you will definitely be grinding very efficiently. Magma is another one. You can definitely use it. It has good DPS. And while there are obviously some insane mythic devil fruits that you can use, they really don't matter because if you can get yourself the Buddha, that is the only devil fruit you're going to need, whether you're a sword main or a fruit main, because if you're a fruit main, you could just use melee with your Buddha. If you were to leave the first C with the Buddha fruit, you would definitely be a pro. Next, I'm going to cover it just in case anybody asks. What about the pink cape that you can get here from the swan boss? 
It gives 10% gun damage and 200 HP. It's actually kind of Garbo. People use it because it stands out and it's a boss drop, but it is a bad accessory. At least if you're using the coat from Marineford, which is this blue coat right here, that's 10% melee damage, which isn't super relevant for how you grind in the game. It is significantly better than the pink coat. If you get this... Do not use it. Stick to your black coat. Actually, I'm wrong. It's called black cape. Stick to your black cape. We are starting to get to the fun stuff, boys. Now that you're like hanging out near the sky and that, you're like level 300 plus, you're kind of good at this game. Like, well, you're getting there. I mean, you're starting to enjoy the game probably. This part is important. If you now have over a million bounty on your account and you're using the saber, you need to kill somebody. You need to PVP someone and it's going to tell you that your saber has reacted and changed in some way. You might also get yourself the marine cap. This does give 7.5% sword damage, 7.5% gun, but it also decreases the cooldown time of your sword attacks, which means like if I use Deadly Rush, I can use it again 10% faster. So see how fast that's going down right now? Let's put on the marine cap, which you will probably also get for defeating someone while upgrading your saber. You'll have the marine cap, and if you want, you could use this for a while because as you can see, it is kind of hard to tell, but that is going down 10% faster than it would have without the cap. As far as accessories go, it's okay. What you're really looking for is you want your saber to evolve and you want your attacks to look like mine. That's what you want your attacks to look like. Now you have Saber V2, which is the best grinding sword that you're going to get for a very long time, especially if you don't have Buddha. So stick to this sword and save up 500,000 belly because it is time to buy yourself a new fighting style. At the bottom of the sky, come around the back here to the Mad Scientist. I believe it's 500,000 for this one. 500,000 belly and when you level it up and in the third C, you'll be able to evolve it into the electric claw. If you can't afford it and you kind of want to like wait around and save a little bit of belly, electric is probably the least important one because Death Step and Sharkman Karate are both in the second C. So you could wait with electric until you get to the third seat. Also, while you're here, you can come up to this floor of the sky with the little castle here. And if you have 200 stats in melee and 500,000 belly, this is one that you should probably get, definitely get if you're a fruit main. This guy will sell you the Tomo ring. As you can see right here, this is 10% more damage with blocks fruits, which is amazing for grinding. Unless you're using Buddha, in which case you could probably stick to either the coat if you're using melee or if you're using your sword, you'll stick to the swordsman hat. Up next, we are underwater and I believe this is 750,000 belly for this one. So if you go from the quest NPC King Neptune right here and you head in this direction past these NPCs that have the triple katana, Go around the back, you'll see this odd bit of wall. The door's actually here. Talk to the water kung fu teacher, 750,000 belly. This is also an important one because it can be upgraded to Sharkman Karate in the second C. You really, really want to have all the fighting styles because while God Human that I have right now is good, Sharkman Karate or Death Step, they're better with certain combos like different fruits and different swords. You can't just have one and then PvP in any way that you want. Some PvP builds require you to have different fighting styles, and therefore you need to unlock all of them. Let's do two quick bonus ones. I don't think you necessarily need these, but just in case, if you're thinking about PvPing, you might want to come to the magma here, which has got the volcano. Head around the back of magma to a part of the game that I can never find on my own. If it was daytime, this would be fine. Okay, there it is right there. So. We're at the back of the island here, and you can essentially run through the wall, find the living skeleton, and get yourself... What's it called, man? Let's go swords. You can get yourself the soul cane. That's the one. It's decent for PvP. It has two little, like, hold stun abilities, I think is how you would describe them. And some people use it for PvP. You might want to have that option. The same it can be said here in the upper sky. This guy right here, he can drop the Tomo ring, I think. That might not be a thing anymore. But what he does drop is pole version 1, which if you are one of those people who wants to use like a stun weapon, pole version 2, which you can get in the second C, is a great sword to use for stunning. 
So you might want to unlock whole version one by doing that boss. And while you're here, you might as well head to the top of this temple here in the upper sky. Talk to the instinct teacher or Usopp. And again, your requirements for this one are pretty high. You're going to need to be level 300 or higher. You have to have defeated Shanks. So you need to have unlocked the saber, which is a good way to tell. And then you need 750,000 belly to unlock instinct, which is this ability, which lets you see enemies and dodge attacks when you're close to them. Like so, dodging is, uh, it's very good. You're going to need that for grinding in the second C. And now for your final stop, you're almost out of the first C, which is honestly awesome. The game gets really good once you beat the first C. The last thing that you're going to want to try and get, and it can be a pain, but if you get lucky, you'll get them. That's this guy's glasses right here. Do I even have them? I don't even have the cool shades, all right? That's how annoying these can be to get. Let's see if maybe I can get just lucky. Just because of today's video theme, could I finally get lucky? Uh, no. All right, cool. That makes me feel good about myself. Do I really not have them? I really don't have the shades. That's crazy. All right, so the cool shades is something you should definitely have before going into the second C. They drop by the cyborg, and they're going to give you 7.5% damage to everything. Oh, wait a minute. All cool shades. Yeah, of course. 7.5% damage to everything means that it's an upgraded version of the black cape. But it's also going to give you 17.5% movement speed, which is really, really good in the second C because obviously the second C is much bigger than the first C and you gotta run around a lot. You're also gonna get 100 energy and 100 health, which is negligible, but it's worth having. Mostly it's the damage increase for everything and it's the uh, the movement speed. It's so good in the second C to be able to dash and jump everywhere and go 17.5% faster. If you don't have the rabbit race, this is a really good alternative. If you're just like standard human, or maybe you got lucky and you spawned a Sharkman or Angel. If you don't have the rabbit race, the cool shades will make up for that. And you don't need to change. Also, don't get the cool shades confused. They do have an upgraded version, which is the Swan Glasses. These are one of the best accessories in the game. They're definitely the best accessory in the second C. This is your upgraded version of the glasses that you'll get in the second C. Do not get them confused. You're just looking for the cool shades for now. And boys, I think that's it for all of the things that you must leave the first C with. Let me know in the comment section if I've missed anything. And of course, if you watched the entire video to help with the watch time and to try and get that giveaway, I thank you. I hope it works out. I hope this is a cool little way to help these kinds of videos grow. There are obviously a lot of other items in the game. And while I don't mind doing tutorial stuff like this, it is not my channel's focus. So I'm not going to go over every little thing. If there was some bonus stuff that I think is super awesome, the shark saw that you can get from the boss here, this item, while it is not necessary at all, I think that its new version, the upgraded version of it, is so cool that uh, you should use it anyway if you're a sword main. Use it for a little while. It is so much fun. Obviously, the game isn't actually that difficult, so you don't have to have any of these things, but uh, not having to come back and get them later on is really nice. Here's a bonus pro tip. If you're struggling to get enough money, which you probably will be, you can uh, set your spawn here at the Pirate Village and check for this blue chest right here. And then jump up over here and grab this gold chest and then head back over this way, jump onto the buildings. Back over here, there's another golden chest. And then just in here, there is a another golden chest. You could do these and then use the servers list to hop servers and just rinse and repeat to get more money. Although I would recommend just kill stuff, level up and get money that way. Thanks for watching, boys. I will see you all next time. By the time you've seen this video, I'll probably be in Japan. So I'm sorry if I miss an upload or two. But I'm fairly certain I have recorded enough content. Check out my Instagram for Japan stuff.